very, very happy to introduce our next speaker, Hanan Tukan. Hanan is a published author, an art writer, and a professor of Middle East studies based here in Berlin. A remarkable intellect who's offered me a very, very modest biography. I'm so thrilled, Hanan. Come up. <laughs> Hello, happy being here with everybody. Okay. Okay, so take this one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm here today to say to the formal fund formal government funded German cultural sector, hands off. Hands off the thousands of Palestinian lives and dreams you have been indirectly parting to injury and killing in the past 35 days and more. And hands off all of us gathered here today in mourning at all lives lost since October 7, and standing here now with the purpose of calling you out for your complicity and complacency and causing us body and mind more pain while trying to distract us above all from mourning our dead, our amputated, are kidnapped, are homeless, and our lives made undecipherable by you. You stand spinelessly silent in your insulated and cushioned office spaces, not only in a genocide that your government funds, promotes, and sustains, unfolding in front of your own eyes every second of every day for over one month now, but you also actively and shamelessly harass and bully us through your policies of carpet silencing. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! You, it. you tell the Jewish people how to be Jewish people. You tell Palestinians how to mourn and remember. And you project your own history and reality of racist violence onto all peoples of color, and especially Muslims in this country. Dear cultural literati, how do you feel shame? How do you not feel shame? for stomping on dreams where all lives matter. How dare you take our culture, our stories, our art, our artifacts, our research, and build careers off of them, and then abandon us in our time of need. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Or do you want us all to die before you can encase us in your glass displays and cry over us 200 years from now to show the world how terrible you have been in the past, how you're bruised and brutalized a world that was once and for which you are now repent. In your dreams, we are tired of paying for your unresolved perpetrator trauma, your self-centered sense of entitlement and emotional numbness and estrangement from the realities outside your head and your offices. <laughs> Look around you, the times they are changing, a worldwide movement not seen since 1968 is surging against your tide, your theories and your so-called universal knowledge and daring to dream of a life free of your own imprisoned colonial minds and the injury they cause unto others. Palestine and its multitudes of Jewish, people of color, and other friends from all over the globe, north, south, east, and west, offends you so much because it is a, mind, it is a reminder of the enduring legacy of the violence of Western universalism. Because it doesn't abide by, violent, by the violent hierarchical categories you seek to instill in us all. It lays naked the laughable hypocrisy of your artistic programming around decolonization. We are all here to demand that you, the cultural sector of Germany, finally step up precisely because of and not in spite of your history. You are responsible for all the children and grandchildren of the direct and indirect victims that your genocidal violence in the past has caused. Yes. Yes. 
speaking on behalf of a courageous generation of fighters of justice, I say free Palestine and free Jews from being told by Germans how to be the right and wrong kind of Jew. Free all people of color in this country from German culture, patriarchy, hierarchy, and white supremacy. One last thing. Finally, may you, the civilized, never ever have a moment of peaceful sleep until no child in Gaza has to wake up anymore in the middle of the night in pitch black and ask if they have died yet. Thank you.